up you guys it's Sierra and I here and in today's video I know I don't look exactly on par with societal standards I'm gonna be doing my hair with you all just doing like some girl talk self-confidence I was just sitting here doing my hair and I was thinking like why not pass the time with you all because we could have some really good conversation and then I brought her in here her hair is already done so my hair is gonna be looking about like that when it's done but yeah blonder I guess. As we're going to be talking about 10 things that we do that like instantly boost our self-confidence because I feel like you know self-confidence is a very like fragile topic among like especially I don't know if it's I think it's among like all young adults and, you know we all have times where we're feeling insecure and we just want something quick and easy to do that'll just make us feel better so that's what this art this video is about so let's just get into it. Number one what we're doing right here right now just doing your hair. Not all these tips are gonna be like physical things, but I do just wanna talk about the obvious things. When I say instantly boost your self-confidence, this is an instant boost. As soon as you get your hair done, you're, you're boosted, like you got it. <laughs> as long as your hair looks, you know, good. It's a style you want it to do. And this isn't, this is definitely a longer style than others, but like any style will work if you like how it looks, just doing it. Yeah, definitely remember like being like in school and then starting off the day. If you know, if I knew my hair wasn't like looking up to it, it just kind of, I don't know, it just didn't make me feel as good about myself that day because I just knew like my hair wasn't even looking that good. Yeah. It's just such a, I don't know if you might think that's shallow, but I think a lot of people feel that kind of way. But if you go in and to the, your day, you're, you know your like, hair looks good, you know you like your face looks fresh, like you just kind of automatically feel a little better about yourself. And then that can like reflect on how you like interact with other people because you know like that you look good so you feel better and it's so easy like like we said it's e easy fix even if it's just like i don't know like i'm not saying you have to lay your edges but even if you don't do anything with your hair you just lay your edges yeah, just that yeah so that. <laughs> it's simple but it will boost your confidence honestly like your think of your hair as part of your outfit and like the it all it all get easier if your hair is done no matter what you're wearing, it'll just instantly look better. I don't care what anybody <laughs> tells you. Like, your hairstyle, just, it goes such a long way. I think it's more important than even, like, the clothes you wear. Because I feel like on a cute hairstyle, you could look bummy. I mean, you could have some sweatpants on and, like, a solid color t-shirt. And you could still look like a bad <laughs> this time you put on some hoops. Call it a day. Number two. Okay, so um, this is... One that I'm sure not all y'all gonna be wanting to hear, but it's just the truth. If you do a workout, that confidence that's boosted. And anybody knows like any kind of workout really, but especially like the aerobic ones, the cardio ones that just get your heart rate going, like it's just an instant boost of like endorphins and it relieves stress. And of course if you get all these positive feelings, you're gonna start feeling more confident about yourself. I mean they they go hand in hand. And it doesn't hurt that if you do it regularly, you can even look forward to some like physical changes. And that never hurts either to like feel physically proud of how you look. I want to say I think like feeling proud of how you look is just a really easy, not easy way, but it's a really solid way to make sure that you always feel confident in yourself. Yeah, exactly. And like I really feel like going outside and doing workouts, and you really can get in that fresh air into your lungs. It can really feel nice. I know a lot of people like go on walks and those aren't even like serious exercises but it can really open up your mind make you feel better i know if i go on a walk get some music or i can go like on a run and mm -hmm. you get that music on and you're just feeling in the moment it's really like it's stress relieving and either you can do like before you go to work like at the beginning of your day or you can do like after any time during the day it can just make you feel like in a better mood honestly i have heard people say like working out first thing in the morning there are like benefits just in that and having those positive endorphins going for like hours after like you'll probably feel a, a genuine boost for the majority of the day but working out later you'll still get those boosts but like you know when you're sleeping you don't feel it quite as much but like just knowing that you pushed yourself you crushed your physical goals i would say like with your workout you probably would do best to push yourself a bit because that's really that's just that'll help boost your confidence because you know like oh, i didn't think i could but i could and i did so of course your confidence is going to be boosted but even if just getting out and moving around even if it's something kind of simple yeah like you just want to do like stretches looking those can feel really nice maybe like a pilates or yeah. yoga or something like that but yeah make sure that you do those stretches before like and after your workout to really have your body like feeling warm and nice and tingly even like crushing a pose like in a yoga class i mean that's confidence boosting too so just find the workout you enjoy number three this is getting 
also a little bit back to the physical stuff. But like we said, an instant boost. Putting on a little bit of makeup. I know, don't come at me. Um, I don't wear makeup that much. I'm wearing a little bit of makeup in this video. Not, I'm wearing lipstick in this video. That's all I'm wearing. Like Normally, I don't ever wear makeup at home. But I will admit that if I'm feeling a little bit like down, I don't, like I feel like I'm about, we're about to go out and I'm like, oh, I look kind of, you know, bummy. Stopping on some lipstick or mascara, that's really all you need to upgrade your look and feel a little better about yourself. You know, like it would be, I, of course, in a perfect world, we would all feel great about ourselves without putting on anything to beautify our faces, but there's no shame in wanting to wear a little bit of makeup. Yeah, you can change your look up a little bit, like if that's what you're trying to do that day. It can be kind of fun to play around with. And also like doing like a skin, like oiling up your skin, washing it before you do your makeup, really like washing your face can really just help you feel more fresh and wake yourself up. So, yeah. And then like lotioning it up afterwards or oiling yourself up, like the scents might be kind of nice, everything like that. It would just make your skin feel good. That kind of brings me to the next tip. I still like have a really bomb like hygiene routine. Um, and this isn't like something that you just do at night. It's kind of just like throughout the day, even when you wake up, like have some like you know wash your face or put some product on like a scrub or something whenever you do it i would just say to do it i've like recently watched a video by another youtuber asley williams um and she was talking about her hygiene routine and it's just i did some of the tips she mentioned and i did honest she didn't even say anything about it boosting your confidence but i felt like it had boosted my confidence because there's something about like walking out of the bathroom knowing you smell good and it's just I mean, why not? Why wouldn't she feel good about that? Even like find a soap that you like that works for you. There's so many soaps out there that smell good. I, you might have sensitive skin, so you can like try to find like a like a more organic type of soap. I personally, I really like to use the, Af the African Black soap. Let's y'all can see it. But honestly, whenever you put on your skin, like it just leaves it feeling really soft. Yeah, I know. It's, I've looked at like the ingredients, and it's a lot of organic stuff, like plantain rind stuff. Stuff like that. Like, it's just really natural type stuff. And we really, I guess, are maybe me, but I like to use a lot of just natural things on our skin, like olive oil, aloe vera gel, shea butter, lemon juice. Like, I mean, you can use <laughs> anything to get your skin, like, get your pores feeling, close them up or open them up or do whatever. Honestly. Even a cold shower. Right. Yeah, even though I don't really do that, but I do know cold showers do have some benefits. <laughs> Um, and that goes, I wanted to say, like, you don't need expensive hygiene products to have a good hygiene routine. Like she's saying, just some soap and taking the time to really get everything. So I feel like it's easy to just kind of brush by, go through the motions and your, like, your washing routine. And you kind of miss, like, you know, the little parts, like, you know, behind your neck or, like, behind your ears, on your feet, between your toes. It's just... The little things that when you get out, you're like, oh, I feel so clean. I smell so good. Uh, this is, I feel like these aren't any revolutionary things, but like eating a healthy meal, something that just not only is healthy, but like it tastes delicious. Like, and making it yourself. <laughs> like, but this is more like for young adults who haven't really made meals that much, but there's something that just feels so like independent about making like a good, delicious, healthy meal. You know, it nourishes you. Like it nourishes your mind and your body. Like, yeah, you don't have to cook every meal during the day. Like, just find one meal. It could be breakfast, lunch, or dinner for silly. Or I probably prefer like either breakfast or like dinner. Make dinner with like my family. But yeah, it could be any time during the day that you could just make yourself that good meal. Or if, or I was gonna say like what you drink can affect you as well. Like, I like to drink hot teas. And there's a lot of different type of hot teas. You can get it with caffeine or not caffeine. Like black tea has caffeine green tea like or like a white tea or something like a mm. passion tango tea like it might not have much caffeine in it <laughs> and she going y'all she's a, a starbucks barista so she knows all the drinks i understand like tea is like i don't know even when i'm at work like if i just drink like a nice cup of tea during like during my break it really just makes me feel more fresh warm my body so it could be an iced tea yeah. if it's hot day no matter i see but if it's a cold day like you get a nice cup of warm tea like a warm cup of coffee right. can just really just make you just soothe your body inside of it and when you get that soothing feeling inside kind of soothe your spirit you i know. know yeah it's hard to drink like a nice cup of tea without feeling like you're just doing right by your body <laughs> also like i'm sure like caffeine does have its benefits if you need like a quick pick me up or it's a cup of black coffee i've heard it's pretty beneficial oh see yeah 
Exactly. It's like no milk and like not really sugar. Maybe a little bit. But that, <laughs> some people don't really like drink it that way. But that's true. Yeah. Also, drinking things like with electrolytes in them. Yeah. Like Gatorade or I don't know, vitamin water sometimes has it. Like just stuff like that could just make you feel more fresh, especially if you're about to work out or you just finish working out. It's just a nice way to get your like. Make like you feel more energetic again. Yeah, people, like basically feeling confident kind of starts. I feel like it stems from how you're actually feeling inside, yeah. both mentally but also like just how you feel. If you don't feel like you are getting everything your body needs. I just think that's a pretty easy way. Like you start feeling down about yourself because you're like, yeah. I'm not taking care of myself and I'm starting to feel it. So like she said, electrolytes. It's if you know you sweat a lot. <laughs> you know you sweat a lot. I would definitely recommend getting like some packs of Gatorade or uh, even like doing some research and seeing if you can find like any supplements. Of course, I might say it's like a first resort, but it yeah. can help you feel better if you need some extra boost. I know because like my coworker, she, takes, she has these long nails. She just takes vitamins for like her hair, skin, and nails. Our mom does that too. So if you want to go out there, do stuff like that. I actually think there is truth behind that stuff. It can like help your body function better. So you might as well try it. Especially if you're like a little older and you want to. Honestly. Yeah. Okay, so where are we? This is be the sixth tip. I'll put the count on the screen. Um, so I would say like just some self-care. That kind of stems back to like the hygiene, but like there's nothing that really feels better than just a good self-care evening, whatever that looks like for you. Definitely just taking like some me time and like reconnecting with yourself, especially if you've just been around people a lot. Sometimes like just Spending some time with yourself is all you really need to feel confident about yourself again. And yeah. Yeah, like whatever that looks like, that's lighting some candles and reading a book, and painting your nails, getting a pedicure, doing a, a face mask, anything. I mean, like when you feel pampered, kind of keep, I feel like it might be redundant, but like when you feel like you're doing right by yourself, you get more confident. And it's kind of based on like how you are as a person, whether you're like an introvert or an extrovert or something like that. You might call yourself a home body or you're more like a social butterfly. So whatever you want to do that's more fits your, with your body, who you are, I guess that would be more relaxing for you. Like maybe going out with your family for a nice dinner, mm -hmm. that might be relaxing if you're more of a social person. Or like going out with your friends, maybe if you're going on like a hike with them or going on a bike ride together with some people. Or going to the movie theaters with some other people. Mm -hmm. Like it can be anything that can make you feel relaxed. So that goes nicely into the next tip. I wouldn't even say this is just for extroverts. It's basically for anybody. Humans are social creatures, so taking that time, like spend time with other people, as much as you might just want to stay at home and be by yourself, getting out and hanging out with other people is like an instant boost. If you like the people, you gotta like the people. It's like an instant boost to how you feel, and normally it is a boost to your confidence because you're comfortable around those people, you're okay with letting like your true colors show, and you're okay with acting how you would normally act in like, you know, even situations where you'd be by yourself, and it just, it feels, it's really nice, and I know that whenever we go out with friends, just instantly, you feel better when you come back, you feel like you did, feel like you have an impact on their life, you feel like you're just living life, like sometimes, you're by yourself all the time you're thinking life is just passing me by and I'm not making any memories even though you are but like it's easier to recognize that you're making memories when you have other people around you and you really feel like you are just you know you're doing the darn thing with your friends you go down the park you're making those memories you are the main character <laughs> or whatever like your life is like a movie kind of I, I saw another video about this like romanticizing your life I didn't really know what it was but um, just by the tip she said, now I do, it just kind of is like looking at your life through like a different lens, like almost like you are a character, like you are living in a movie. I think that's like a really easy way to also kind of just boost your confidence is looking at your life through that kind of lens where you're just, like I said, like you are romanticizing. You're looking at yourself as somebody who's interesting. Like you're not just going through the motions. Each thing you're doing is like intentional. Each day you live is exciting. Even with the, that being said, like you might not have a good relationship with a lot of people in your life and maybe you're not that close with your family. Maybe you have a few friends, but like they're kind of busy a lot. So even just going out to social places like a cafe or just maybe like to the park, just to be around people. Like you might miss it. You would talk to people. Like I know sometimes I see people at like Starbucks, they just sit, come in and they'll just sit down and somebody sits near them and they'll just start a whole conversation with them. We also have seen like 
that other restaurants we've gone to or just being neighborly around people, being kind. And that can make you feel good. It can make them feel good as well. Also just going to the park and sitting down and like watching other people, playing sports with other people. It can just feel good to like talk with others. Definitely. That's a good tip. Just getting out of the house really <laughs> and getting around other people. Yeah, I mean, you're, if you're around people, like, that's who you're trying to be confident around, other people. So you've got to got to interact with people to learn how to be more comfortable. Yeah, be comfortable with people. And be comfortable in yourself. I feel like, you know, being comfortable around other people goes pretty well with being comfortable by yourself. Even, like, um, interacting virtually also can be a confidence boost if you're talking to somebody that you like. If y'all, like, normally joke together, normally it just gets you back into your element when you're laughing and kidding with other people, even virtually. Like, don't overlook the impacts of virtual interactions. FaceTime is great, but even just messaging is great. When you know that somebody else appreciates you and they appreciate being around you, it just can just feel so good, like be a bit of a, um, not even like an ego, but it's just really just make you feel better about yourself. If you know other people like really truly like being around you and they feel like that you're just a beneficial person to be with. I know. Yeah, we're gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna go to another one. Me too. I'm just gonna say like writing down things. It could be like in your journal. Bro, yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. If we like, didn't even write an outline. I was gonna touch more on how I don't really journal the way that she journals. I more journal about. I don't exactly journal. Sometimes I just write down like my thoughts in the moment. Something I've done recently is I start writing down who I want to be, like traits I want to have, like patience humility, um, faith, like things like that. I've written down those. And I'll take pictures of them sometimes and keep them on my phone so, like during the day or whenever I'm feeling down, like I can just look at my phone and get reminded on like, don't, I titled the list like, don't forget who you are. Cause it's just being around people and feeling unmotivated and really just, people can have you feel so disappointed sometimes. And it can just tire you out that like, you need to remind yourself like, this is who I am. Don't forget your like morals and what you're focused on. So that helps me a lot. Also, like writing down things that you're grateful for, showing gratitude is also a good confidence boost. I know that there are a lot of like people in the self care help, like niche or whatever, who talk about like writing three things down each day that you're grateful for. It just makes you feel better and it boosts your happiness, which like really goes hand in hand with boosting your confidence. You just you realize that you have so many things to be grateful for. I mean, like, why would you be sad to be who you are? It just makes you kind of look at your life through a different lens and you only focus on the things that you are grateful for. So I do think that it's easy to, like, uh, just do the day. I mean, we naturally, like, focus on the things that we don't like. We might get a hundred compliments, but if you get one negative piece of feedback, that's yeah. what we're going to focus on. <laughs> I wonder why they would say that. <laughs> but, like, when you write it down, write down the other day, oh, but I got a hundred compliments. You know, that was pretty good. Or you write about, like, I don't know, something simple. My mom brought me a cup of coffee today. Although you can write about things that you're gra grateful for, it also helps you show gratitude to other people. Like just sending out a text message or an email, just, just thanking them. I've also heard like at least making sure to thank one person each day is another good way to just feel good about yourself. If, if that looks like you adding a thank you at the end of your email to your boss, why not? You know, go for it. Go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> or like call your grandma or your aunt and just let them know that you're thankful. I try to control like your aggression throughout the day because aggression really leads to a lot of like stress that you may have so try to look for like the better in other people when you're talking to them like it might be something that you don't really like that much or you see like they're really irritating a lot they're what they're saying really irritating you but like pick your own battles um honestly yeah when you look at the better in other people like it comes easier to look at the better in you people who have that it is what it is mentality are some of the most like hardest people to bother they're just gonna hit you with it is what it is. We move on with their life because they know they can't change it. They can't change what's already happened. But, you know, ideally they'll take what has happened and apply it to the future. But they don't stand, sit around and like fret over what they've done in the past. They recognize that what they've done has already been done and they move on. So you can adopt that mentality too. You'll be straight. Let us know in the comments what other videos you want to see in the future. Like, we feel like we always thought that we're going to get regular with this channel, and <laughs> so, <laughs> then we we're don't. trying. Y'all, it's so hard. <laughs> I don't know why, but we really are trying. So, anyways, make sure you subscribe and like, and hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos.